So you may have been watching over the past few days as uh, Canadian Prime Minister uh, Pr Justin Trudeau has flown over to Brussels once again. You know, he's reviled back home in Canada. So he's spending a lot more time now in Belgium uh, trying to elevate Canada on the world stage and really doing a piss poor job of it. Um, going yeah. over to the European Union to lecture the rest of the world about freedom and democracy. He's saying all of this with a straight face, right? So yesterday he spoke and he was denounced by the uh, Prime Minister of Moldova, among other world leaders. But yesterday, Germany, after his speech, holy smokes, I don't know if you guys saw this, but they just laid into him. Two members of the uh, German parliament got up and just eviscerated him. This individual, I'm going to play from Munich um, first. Uh, this is the fourth MP that rebuked uh, Mr. Trudeau and saying, how can you dare come here and lecture us about democracy after what you did to those Freedom Convoy individuals in your own country, <laughs> stealing their bank accounts, stealing their money, stealing their trucks? Listen to just one. I've got two different ones here. This is sub, um, this is, uh, what do you, not it's sub? dubbed. Dubbed, okay, with a woman's voice. But this is the gentleman, listen to him. Here are European democratic values that underpin all of our actions. I worked in Syria and Pakistan for many years as a diplomat and therefore value democracy very highly. Now, the invitation to Canadian PM Justin Trudeau is an invitation to someone who's been trampling on democratic rights, who's been uh, cracking down on people who protested against disproportionate corona measures. People's who were supporting a non-sanctioned movement coming under criticism. So clearly the values of uh, democracy being uh, despised uh, by this individual. Let us not give someone like this any speaking time in this house of democracy. <laughs> now. He was like... Ms. Garcia Perez. Oh, and applause and the, even. Yeah, there yeah. is applause. They're like, let's shut his microphone down because that's not what democracy is. Yeah. Christine Anderson, though, who speaks English, got up and boy, did she lay into him from Germany as well. Like here we are in the European Union, like we're debating whether or not to allow Ukraine into our body, which is trampling on democracy. And we think that they're corrupt government. So they are not allowed to be a member of the European Union. You're flying over here from Canada after what you just pulled a few weeks ago, clamping down on personal freedoms. And you're going to lecture us about dem democracy slipping in the world. His here's Christine Anderson uh, from Germany. Listen to this one. Holy smokes. Based on Article 195, doubt that it would have been more appropriate for Mr. Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, to address this House according to Article 144, an article which was specifically designed to debate violations of human rights, democracy, and the rule of law, which is clearly the case with Mr. Trudeau. Then again, a prime minister who openly admires the Chinese basic dictatorship who tramples on fundamental rights by persecuting and criminalizing his own citizens mm -hmm. as terrorists just because they dared to stand up to his perverted concept of democracy should not be allowed to speak in this house at all. Mr. Trudeau, you are a disgrace for any democracy. Please spare us your presence. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Oh, girl. I, uh, wow. <laughs> well, Germans Why don't... Why don't we get any shots of his, like, this? Germans yeah, don't beat around the bush. I want to know, know how Germans... she really feels. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish I wish Carol Daly would get a chance, too. The, yeah. The Irish well, PM. Irish. PM. There was a... She's not a I think what she anymore. was referring to there oh, yeah. was there was an article, I think, early in Trudeau's term where he did say he admired some of the powers of the Chinese president. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's what she's referring to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where he referred to the idea that you could uh, without the rule of law, basically uh, clamp down on personal freedoms. Yeah, like, he liked that. He likes that. That was a, a page out of his playbook. By the way, I mean, there was a lot of that yesterday. I don't know if you saw President Biden, who was in uh, shaking hands with Charlie uh, Michelle, who is has serving a five year term. OK, as the uh, economic uh, or the head of the EU council. Right. He just had a confidence vote just the other day. So he's five year term. Like this, he didn't just win an election. Like he's he's going to be serving. He's like halfway through a five year term. But President Biden didn't know that. He doesn't have any idea. He just thought he was like 
he that he just got reelected with no opposition at all. Like you just got this job with no opposition at all. Here was President Biden shaking his hand, and this comment was like totally cringeworthy. Well, I came to congratulate a man who just got reelected without opposition. I, 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 I dream about that someday. But look, from the very beginning, uh, Charlie's like, what the hell are you talking about? I, I wasn't reelected. I'm serving a five year term. We just had a vote of confidence in the council. Like that's what we do every year. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> And oh, by the way, you love the idea of running without opposition. Right. Like, so there's no opposition party. You already have that anyway. No, that's a stupid <laughs> joke. He was trying to be silly. I, I get it. But you know what? Where there's smoke, there's fire, you know? And he, by the way, he has that already. He doesn't have an opposition. Like, that's why they were able to stamp out Bernie Sanders. They were able to stamp out the Green Party, you know? Um, other members of uh, other members of the opposition. Grover has something to say. About He's that. pissed about that. Yeah. Did um, Trudeau just out of curiosity? Did Trudeau get an applause after his speech, or or did was it completely silent? Did we see I that? People walked the end out. Of it. People walked out. People, oh yeah, I, yeah. I did see people walk out. I didn't hear the end of the speech though. I didn't. Uh, I didn't want to sit through that twenty minute. We're diatribe. done with you and your feathered hair. We don't <laughs> yeah. want to hear from you. Photo. Start calling him photo. Photo. Like faux. Yeah. yeah. Fake. They call him the tough. They call him, what do they call him? Tough, the tough, tough leader, or the tough leader or something like that. What Man, Grover's really upset about this. Yeah. <laughs> He's not having it. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, we have a membership program for the price of a cup of coffee once a month. You can support independent journalism just by going to morninginvest.com slash join. You get access to exclusive videos, plus the ability to join and chat with us live. We really appreciate your subscription and you are supporting independent journalism.